The MUA has a long and proud history of Indigenous activism. We've been on the wharves and in the maritime industry since it's begun. Icons such as Chica Dixon were important members of our union and our movement. Aboriginal land. Every place in the I'm here in Sydney today for the first National Indigenous MUA Committee meeting. This is the first time that an Indigenous committee has been formed for the MUA. Paddy's been in it for a while. He was saying like three years. Just Indigenous enough. people, you know, to be a part of the union, EAs and EBAs and health and safety, they want it more personalised, like all membership is. It's what, what it does for them. We've got four weeks. On Aboriginal land. I was in Townsville, where I work, on the wharves. I just said, yeah, no worries, I'll have a go at it. And we discuss what's out there that's affecting communities, be it the intervention, be it Muckety. The federal government has earmarked Muckety as the potential site to create a nuclear waste dump. The issue of a nuclear waste dump is massive for the MUA. It's our members of the first Australians that have to handle it as this stuff has to come into a port somewhere. We'll be working with the indigenous communities affected as well as the anti-nuclear campaigners. As a kid, I can remember our family having a get-together around the dinner table about this photo that was in the newspaper. And little did I know the ramifications of Gulf Whitlam pouring the sand into Vincent Langari's hand. We know Marbo, but it, this happened before Marbo. On properties such as those owned by Vesties in the Northern Territory, Aborigines work for seven days a week from dawn until nightfall. Their pay, two pounds a week. Is in August this year, I went to the Wave Hill walk-off anniversary. The people at Wave Hill had not forgotten what the MUA has done. In 1966, rank and file unionists on the Darwin waterfront alert Northern Territory unions to the plight of the Aborigines. We actively encouraged Aborigines to consider taking industrial action. My first physical involvement with the actual Wave Hill strikers was when I took my truck down with a load of food down to the bed of the Victoria River where they were all camped and they were just so overjoyed that they were getting support this time from the, from the trade union movement. The NT branch sent three delegates. We also had two retired members, Brian Manning and Jack Phillips. To see Brian back there, it was, it was really special. For years, he, he got on a truck and brought food down to these people. We need history to see where we're going to. Like an the proud history of the MUA is that we were on the first picket lines to have recognition for Indigenous workers in this country. Where well, we had a determination to set up Indigenous education schools like Tranby. That we had the leadership and the foresight and the commitment to take on the fight to give Indigenous people in this country the right to vote. And we'll be at the forefront to make sure that things like the intervention are removed We'll be at the forefront to make sure that our health and education system are properly extended to the real Australians, the first Australians, who opened up their land, not voluntarily, and opened up their hearts and their culture and still does today. We'll be at the front of making sure that there is not only genuine reconciliation, Reconciliation of people around the world, but primarily reconciliation with our own Indigenous people. Hypocrisy when they are abusing the rights of Aboriginal people in the Northern Territory. And, and not just reconciliation, in, justice against the criminality that's being visited on them. So we want to send a clear message, so I'm asking everyone here today... To that's just as much unionism as going down and bargaining for a better wage increase or a safer job. So thank you very much. Always was, always will be Aboriginal. And always will be Aboriginal. Always was. As a Torres Strait Islander myself and a long time MUA member, I'm very excited about what we're doing here. 
I want to make sure this isn't a tick in the box thing. We need to make sure that the training leads to real jobs for Indigenous people. And nail some of these things now. It's great that the young Indigenous members of today are taking up leadership roles. It's just great for our people.